Jonathan Marshall and News 9 Sports. After the All-Star break, the Bruins will get back to work Tuesday at home against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Meanwhile, to Boston's Pro Hoops team. The Celtics are finding some consistency. Their 102-93 W over the Pistons Friday night was their fourth straight and 11th in their last 15. They now find themselves in the eighth spot in a close Eastern Conference race. The Celtics are in Orlando Sunday against the Magic. Women's college hockey, number 10, UConn at UNH. UNH, UConn gets the scoring started in the second period. It's Natalie Snodgrass to make it 1-0 Huskies. It didn't stop there. UConn just had it going 2-0 in the second. This goal from Daniel Fox made it 3-0 down in the third. UNH still hasn't scored. UConn adds another goal from Danielle Fox to make it 4-0. UConn shutting out UNH, winning 5-0. This is their third straight loss. They play Holy Cross next weekend. UNH men's hockey coach Mike Souza said this weekend starts a big stretch for his team. The Wildcats got off to a rough start Friday, losing to Merrimack. They host UConn tonight. I think they're a team that, uh, you know, maybe has the deepest uh, forward group in all of uh, our conference, certainly. Uh, you know, they're well coached. They play hard. You know, they had a big win against us, uh, you know, down there a couple weeks ago. So we're familiar with each other. Now to some Saturday high school boys hoops action in Plymouth at Manchester West. Jay Crowley takes the pass from deep. He's open, so he'll take the shot. It's good. West up 42-30 in the third. More from the Bobcats. The pass inside the post. Tyler Sikowski turns around. He'll connect for two. Some Blue Knights highlights now. Travis Martins pulls up for the tray. He knocks it down. More from West. Jacob Plamadon for West. He hustles for the loose ball. He's rewarded for it with some points in the box score. I like this play right here. Two guys crossing Tyler Stokowski. He makes the great read for Jake Crowley. He does the rest. West winning at 71 to 50. Rosters have been announced for the 69th Shrine Maple Sugar Bowl, featuring some of the best high school football players from New Hampshire and Vermont. Over 200 seniors were nominated by their coaches. 25 high schools are represented for the New Hampshire team, coached by Lebanon's Chris Childs. The nation of Vermont will go at it Saturday, August 6th at Dave Wilk Stadium on the campus of Castleton University. This game has raised millions of dollars for the Shriners Children's Facilities. And some Beijing Winter Olympic news for you. Legendary snowboarder Sean White says this will be his last time competing in the Olympics. White is 35 years old, and this is his fifth Olympic Games for the man they call the Flying Tomato. He's won three half-pipe gold medals since his debut in 06. White also has 13 Winter X Games titles. So Winter Olympics, what's what's your go-to sport? What, what do you enjoy watching? The you know, I love the figure skating. I am a Sean White fan. He's been yeah. like a, he's been consistent. Legend. You know? The Legend. flying tomato. He's always been there. Gotta I love it. How to feel. All right, I like figure skating. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, Sean. Thank you. We'll